Jenny Harvey, um, today, uh, a sen century since women, some women, got the vote, um, do you consider this an important day? Well, obviously it's a hugely important day and one we should be celebrating and acknowledging um, absolutely correctly. But as you say, only some women got the vote. Uh, women of the age of 30, I believe, or older, got the vote 100 years ago today. Women had to wait uh, another 10 years if they were under the age of 30 in this country to get the vote. So, you know, if you were a 25-year-old woman 100 years ago, you didn't have the vote in this country, which is pause for thought. And of course, there are countries where women today don't have the vote. So um, a really important moment to acknowledge, but also an opportunity to look at how far we still have to go um, in the battle for women's rights. Funny you say, so we could go right through every decade, I guess, mm. but let's, we'll be here. And, and here we are in Harlem Museum, where we do love to go through each decade. But people might look at those incidents in the President's Club and incidents of sexism, etc., and say, we still have an awful long way to go, don't we? Absolutely, and look at the incredible scandal in Hollywood recently you know and those are powerful successful strong women who um, have not been paid their their dues they have have suffered inequality um, and if, if women like that are not getting justice what, what's it going to be like if you're a woman uh, migrant who's doing a menial job um, who's got very few rights who doesn't speak a language who's um, held over a barrel by a system so I think you know, though, those sort of situations like the, 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 the Hollywood and the President's Club are very worrying. But we're also in a situation remarkable with things like the BBC, where equal pay. So it's still going on the battle, and not just in talked about the BBC, but there seems to be still a battle with things like equal pay and all, all these basic rights, don't we? Yeah, completely. And I mean, you know, the BBC is a, a government-funded body. We pay for that. Um, so, you know, it's not even a private business where one could argue that the decisions taken are those of the shareholders and legitimately so. This is, a, this is an institution funded by people like you and me and one would expect that 100 years after women got the vote, an organisation like that would have moved with the times and be applying the same sort of uh, thinking to, to their own institution, yes. And without going into the politics, if you know what I mean, because it is a quite a tumultuous political time in Harlow, but it is good to see a young female leader of a council. There are still, she won't mind me saying, veterans like Jean Clark, yep. but also um, formidable, um, I would, in my opinion, from where I sit in the press bench, formidable um, uh, advocates of politics, for example, someone like um, the Wade Foreman. Absolutely. You know, Wade Foreman is an incredible pin-up girl, I would say, and I don't think she'd mind me saying that, for women in politics and black and minority ethnic women in politics. You know, it is to all of our shame that Wade is the only woman, black and minority ethnic woman, um, sitting on the council. But I think it's, it's also shameful to consider that there are only nine women councillors in Harlow out of 33. So, you know, you do the math on that. That is poor. And, you know, I don't want to score party political points, but, you know, two of those uh, nine women are conservative or UKIP and seven are Labour. Now, we've still got a long way to go. There's no question about it. The candidates standing for May, there are 11 of us and three are women. That's in the Labour group. So there is a long way to go. Um, and that's, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to speak today was to, to stand up and say women have to get active in politics. Um, some battles have been won but there are many, many battles still to fight. And if we want the kind of world which has the values that I think women, frankly, espouse, uh, we have to get better representation.